Hi Virgo, this is Lucky with Lucky Seven Tarot. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel. This is going to be your October 2022 general reading for um, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Remember that these are general messages, so not every message will resonate with you. If it does, great. If it doesn't, check your Moon, Rising, and Venus sign videos for a more complete message or feel free to check out my website, lucky 7 Um to see what I'm offering. All right. I am reading for love, but these messages can resonate anywhere where you have, I almost called you Taurus, where you have Virgo in your natal chart. Some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus. Um, where you have Virgo in your natal chart. All right. So, and they can resonate in the reverse. I might be explaining it as if it's your energy it can be somebody else's energy towards you. All right. So let's go ahead and see what's going on with my Virgo subscribers out there. Make sure you guys hit the like button for me. It does help support the channel and I really appreciate it. All right. So <clears throat> what's going on with Virgo for October? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Virgo. Okay. I don't know why, but it instantly I got, you're getting money. You're getting money. You're getting to the money. All right. But uh, Virgo, I do feel like some of you guys are ending something or there's some type of ending i'm also getting somebody falling from grace these are though both of those messages were channeled so i definitely feel like um there is a relationship here that some of you guys are in the process of ending a certain cycle in your love life we're going to see what the challenge is here the challenge is the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the Queen of Cups. Ooh. Some of you guys, the challenge has a lot to do with making a choice between more than one person. Whether this is you having to make this choice or someone having to make the choice over you. And I feel like there's something that you're trying to hold on to, but somebody here has options. And there's some confusion as to where to place your affection, like where you want to be, what, or some of, some of you have been dealing with a player. All right, let's see what happened in the past. What happened in the recent past? The Nine of Wands. So in the recent past, I do feel like some of you guys, you had like a wounded ego. There was something you were trying to persevere against. All right. Some of you are dealing with a Leo. I do feel like there was a sudden new beginning, though like an offer for something to grow very significantly. But then there was something that may have fallen apart or like almost as quickly as you had a new beginning, there was something that challenged this that you have had to overcome. Let's see what's on your mind. The high priestess, Piscean energy. Some of you guys Oh, the temperance. You're trying to be patient here, trying to, you know, thinking about what you can do to bring balance to this situation. You're really being logical. I do feel like your guard may be up. You feel lonely, like you have to protect yourself. There's something that you're thinking about that I feel like it's making you feel sad or there's some type of regrets that you have here. Some of you guys, hmm, I don't know. Uh... Let's see what you're hiding or what's hidden from you. The two of cups. For me to say what you're hiding, this could be you're hiding a relationship or there's something hidden within your relationship for some of you. There is, I feel like for some of you, there is a relationship where you feel very connected to this person, but there is something about this that's like not working out. There could just be arguments. It, you know, bickering going on. I feel like some of you guys are having to let go of certain toxic behaviors. I do see a look. I feel like um, there is a love offer coming in. Somebody is offering really stable opportunity here. And maybe that's what you don't see. Somebody's having to let go of like their toxic ways in order to make room for this love offer, like a really strong offer. That's why I sense you guys ending a cycle. I feel like some of you guys are in this maturing space 
and knowing what you want and trying to figure out how to go get it. All right. What is Virgo's hopes and fears? The magician. So you're hoping, you know, like your hope is to manifest some sort of new beginning to literally move forward and have some type of success here to heal something where there was some kind of betrayal and to commit yourself to take a chance and make some type of commitment. You've got the Hierophant, the fool. So there is something here that you're, you want to take a chance on and make this commitment and move forward, move beyond some type of betrayal or some type of hurt that may have happened here. Disappointment. Some of you guys are actually trying to manifest some sort of move, like a physical move. All right. And I feel like your fear may be that, you know, if you have this new beginning, if you're all in, you might get betrayed. Okay. You, your fear is that maybe there's something about this that you can't trust. Like, am, it, is this going to be the right thing? Let's see what the most likely outcome is. You're putting in the effort. The Eight of Pentacles, a lot. You're offering somebody love, or they're offering it to you. Now, I will show you guys this. Look at this Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. The problem is, I feel like you have to make a choice. You have to make a choice and you have to stand on it. Some of you, it's a choice between two people. Some of you, it's a choice between staying still or moving forward with someone and actually investing, all right? Or they have to make that choice. Let's see. Clarify these messages for Virgo. You've got the nine of pentacles in the heart of the matter and the three of pentacles in reverse. Some of you, you have to make a sacrifice to give up something and stop holding yourself back in order for, for you to have the love you want. Like, and I don't know if it's giving up your singlehood to be the, you know, be your best self with this person. Why the queen of wands? The knight of pentacles. The challenge is to take action and make some type of solid offer but I think you're doing it very slowly or things are moving forward slowly, but they are going to change for the better. They're going to change for the better. Some of you got to make a sacrifice in order for this to happen. And maybe you're not vibrating at your highest vibrational level. Why is the, the nine of wands in the recent past? The 10 of pentacles. A lot of you... The seven of cups. It's like there's something here about you afraid to make a decision in the recent past or somebody here being afraid to make a choice between more than one person, more than one situation. There was a lot of um, you had to figure out and really fight for something that you want long term. But I think for some of you. The fear comes in. Because it's like. I feel like there was something here or there is something here that you have the potential to lose or you lost it. Somebody could have been, you know, upset. They feel betrayed. Someone walked away. There was a lot of love here or someone. There was a lot of love there. Mutual connection. But somebody had been through so much. Tell me more about this nine of wands, four of cups. Be careful what you take for granted because somebody here feels taken for granted. I don't know who this is, if this is you or your person, but someone got pushed away and the truth either came out or is coming out. And then you're going to be put in this position. I have to make a decision. Some of you, if this is you that did this to them, I don't know. You could be putting something really good at risk. You do have the page of cups in reverse. A lot of you are being silent with someone because you have other options or you're thinking about why someone has been silent with you. You have other options. I think there's a little bit of fear that this is really over this time. Like whatever, the, whatever happened, you've reached 
you know, you're, you're afraid that, you know, you've reached the breaking point with this. I almost feel like I'm talking to two separate Virgos. Okay. But it's like, you're not telling someone how you feel. You're kind of just really doing a lot of thinking about it, or they're not telling it to you. Why the two of cups is hidden. The Knight of Cups in reverse, Page of Swords. There is somebody you really love. You feel very connected to this person, but there may be a breakup with this person because the truth is revealed. Some kind of truth is coming out. I feel like somebody may even give up on this connection because of the truth. What else can you tell me about this? The Knight of Swords, there's some type of instability there. Somebody gets ghosted or like, like I said, with the Empress in reverse and the Eight of Cups, someone here is walking away from somebody they really have mutual feelings for, not taking the necessary, because they were not taking the necessary steps to have, you know, a solid connection here. What else? The Emperor reversed. That's you guys, right? So I feel like someone here is giving up. But then it's almost like they give up and then come back. They give up and then there's something like you work. I'm seeing you guys work it out. It feels very similar to Taurus's reading. Let's see why the magician is here. The seven of swords. A lot of you are afraid to manifest something and then get taken advantage of and get left out in the cold that somebody's going to walk away. You're wondering if someone is trustworthy. All right. Your hope is that you can trust them. Some of you, I don't know why. I feel like your hope is that you can get past some sort of betrayal or that you can get. Tell me more. Seven of Pentacles reverse the star. A lot of you are hoping that you'll be able to heal a relationship from the past or your fear is that you won't be able to get past it. That even if you do try again with someone that you don't trust that person or you'll never be able to regain their trust or they'll never be able to trust you. How, take it how it resonates. By the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Ten of Wands in reverse. It's like, some of you, you have to, I feel like there was a lie here that caused, you know, a relationship to end. And it's almost like, I see you guys trying to fix it, you know, trying to fix it, trying to right the wrong or them trying to right the wrong with you. The star, somebody wants to heal from a third party situation or where they were really hurt damaged, possibly from some information that was given. The magician again and the king of cups. You guys do love this person. You do. But in order to be with them, I feel like it's going to take a lot of effort or in order for them to be with you, you're going to it's going to take a lot of effort. They're going to have to really try and prove themselves because I don't see you guys standing for no, no BS. If they did this to you, you're not taking it. I think if this, for some of you, there is an opportunity for this relationship to be rekindled if you want that. But I feel like that, that it's going to require a lot of effort. Let's see. What else can you tell Virgo? Yeah. Somebody sabotaged this relationship. Because of their inner wounds is, you know, I see somebody really hurt over a separation because somebody was sleeping around. There was a third party. And I am seeing like you replaying the breakup in your head. And I feel like there will be a meeting or you guys come together to gain some type of clarity. I feel like you guys are going to talk. There's going to be some type of conversation here. Somebody's mask is falling. All right. 
their mask is falling. There might be news about some type, some type of one night stand or like sexual situation there. When you talk with this person, I don't know, there could be makeup sex. Cause I, and I feel like a lot of you, you, I don't know, somebody here has been dealing with like a one-sided relationship and now there's going to be boundaries. Somebody's setting boundaries. I'm also feeling like some of you could be traveling to like a paradise, to some beautiful place where there's a lot of passion there and everything. But then I feel like there was so much stability here and all of that. But then there's something that you guys have to heal. Um, because there's something about this that kind of feels like makes somebody feel like they're not enough or it's not enough. Let's see. I don't know if this is making sense. Let me know in the comment section down below. I have no idea. All right. What can you tell Virgo? Yeah, there is a lot of passion between the two of you. Some of you, I feel like money and finances may also be tied with this person or something about your finances. I feel like you need to give this relationship a chance and express your feelings to this person. But you're not talking to them or there is some something that's not being said and it's a red flag. I do feel like there's something that has yet to be healed. Yep. Some of you are, this is my player card. Some of you are in separation from a player. There's, I'm also seeing like an engagement or getting into a relationship, but like there were red flags that were, are being ignored or there's some red flags ignored. I don't know. Take it how it resonates. What else can you tell Virgo? I see communication between you and somebody here, but someone has their wall up in a relationship because they don't want to be an option or they don't want to be a part of many. All right. And there's some gossip here or news that comes up that may cause somebody to walk away or have their freedom. I feel like there's some distance between you and someone could be physical distance, could be emotional distance because somebody wants to have fun here and play the field or party and all of that. And somebody is pissed off about that. They're detaching. Some of you have kids with this person or a family. Tell me more. Yeah. And it's like, it almost seems like you stopped doing whatever it was, or they stopped doing whatever it was that they were doing in the beginning. They stopped doing what they did to get you or you did. Yeah. It was like you find your person, but someone here keeps dating, keeps looking for, you know, somebody has toxic traits about themselves. People could be talk. I don't know. It's like, be aware of, I feel like money is a factor when it comes to this. Some of you, there's a choice between two people, like a karmic and a, and a soulmate, you know? Um, hmm. Use this deck. What's happening for Virgo for October? If there was any type of casual sex or anything like that, I feel like you you're gonna luck is on your side when it comes to this. All right, I do see somebody getting rejected. Somebody's getting rejected from. <clears throat> there was some Netflix and chilling going on and that's leading to some level of rejection because somebody's going to find out and walk away and this is creating some sort of struggle 
emotional struggle. I see a disconnect because of secrets. Somebody hiding secrets and someone is watching. They're obsessed. They're I feel like somebody here feels like the grass was greener on the other side. This is going to put someone in the position to have to make a choice. I do feel like somebody here is also paying more attention to their appearance or their appearance looks better. And then that puts someone, I don't know if this is you or them, but puts the other person in like a position of fear of missing out because they look really good online, you know, or they're posting nice pictures, you know, that type of thing. I don't know. What else? Virgo. You, this person has a crush on you, but they don't look like it. Like they have feelings for you, but they don't look like it. They're getting stronger. And they're creating boundaries. I see a confession coming up. Yeah. This person feels like they get the short end of the stick. Somebody here. Somebody wants to return. Yep. Somebody wants to return. They weren't, they don't feel like they were cared for properly, like their needs were being met. And what else? They may have even, they may even tell you they lost interest or this may be you saying I lost interest. You know, I met somebody else. I see someone here cheated and they have feelings for more than one person. And this may have messed up your self-esteem, broke you, or this may be that thing that, you know, broke your relationship. This person I feel like is going to come to you and say they just want to talk. They may also listen to their family and friends. Their their circle doesn't like you or you your circle doesn't like them. I feel like there's a lot of criticism. Somebody is saying leave me alone, but they don't want to be left alone. I also feel like they this person kind of feels you slipping away. If you if this if you are this person's ex, they definitely still have feelings for you. They still have feelings for an ex. And someone here is avoiding being accountable for their actions. They're, they're saying like it was only sex or like they mean nothing. Because they do want you to be vulnerable. They're telling you that they, you know, they, they're loyal to you now. Because they feel you slipping away or vice versa. There's some drama over cheating. Somebody gets blocked. Yeah, and they realize they made a mistake dealing with two people at the same time or having feelings with two people and not knowing what they really wanted to be all in. Because I did see in the very first reading like there is potential for like long-term commitment. Some of you guys are already married and this is happening. Some of you, you know, you get into this relationship and then all of a sudden like the rug kind of gets pulled out from under you. What else do you have for Virgo? Yes. Listen, literally these two cards flung out, family room and false person. Some of you guys share a home with this person or there's titles. And it's like this person has a false mask on. I do see an ending here. There's a change to feeling stuck. Some of you guys, this is going to play a role in your mental health. But I feel like this is a, a mess. Like there will be communication. Yeah, there's a message. Somebody's going to act like they're worried or concerned. Come to you and act that way. 
random. This person could be lying about or like, I don't know, lying about some sort of travel or like what they do for work, lying about going on like a business trip. That could be like where they're cheating at. Some of you feel stuck because you have a child with this person or there's children affected by this. But I do see a title, like offering a title. Offering a title to this person. I see this person, I feel like someone is considering going back or like trying to make this work. I don't know what this is talking about. Let's go ahead and get your advice. What advice do you have for Virgo? Follow your dreams, Virgo. Go after what you want. Some of you, this actually means that you need to pay attention to your actual dreams, all right? Things are improving, all right? It may not seem like it initially, but there is a need to be honest here with yourself and anyone else that this is affecting. Everything you're going through is preparing you for what you asked for. So what have you asked for from spirit? You need to try to have a deeper level of understanding in this situation. I feel like there's going to be some new opportunities that come up for you. What else? You got two cards. Love yourself first came out with evolve or repeat. The choice is yours. So some of you need to set clear boundaries with someone from the past or you're going to repeat the same cycle. All right. You will have success and victory over this situation. That is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this was helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below. I love you guys. I hope you're loving on yourselves. Peace, love, and blessings to you always. Until next time. Bye-bye.